Howdy everyone, welcome back to Random Things with James. I am James and today with a tutorial how I make these paracord cat ears. I made these because as a hobby I make paracord stuff and I've always wanted to make ears so last weekend I sat down and finally experimented and this is what I came up with and now I want to show you guys how I make them. They're actually fairly simple to make and I think not too reasonably expensive. As a matter of fact, most stuff in this I got at my local Dollar Tree. A um, couple of special tools that would help but not necessarily needed. Without further ado, let's get into the materials. First up, you're going to need paracord, 550 cord. Um, you can get this at a lot of craft stores. Um, Dollar Tree has a small selection of stuff um, for 25 feet for a dollar 25 which is actually a pretty good start um, Hobby Lobby has a very large selection I just found out Dollar Tree not Dollar Tree Dollar General also has a selection of paracord um, just pick you don't have to pick two colors for tutorial purposes I find two colors would probably be easy to show the techniques um, for this I'm gonna do a neon pink and purple um, as far as how much as you need um, I actually don't know I'm still experimenting a little bit it's gonna depend on how big the ears are I don't have like a inch of cord to um, you know how much it'll end up the product I am going to try with um, 12 feet of one and 12 feet of another for a 24 inch or 24 foot um, cord for each ear and just kind of go from there to see how that works out so the good thing about paracord is that being synthetic you can actually just melt the tips and connect them together so if you run out or don't have enough you can melt together to make it longer and it's usually pretty strong and pretty fine for something like this now for the tools you're going to need well actually for, for supplies goes you kind of need a headband. Can't make a headband without a headband, right? Um, the ones I will be using, I got, I get from Dollar Tree. It's these three pack, and I like them because of this. How they're empty on top. This allow me to put wire through it, and wire it to it to secure it, which is great. Um, you could probably use a normal one, like a solid one, but you probably need to drill holes to kind of feed the wire through to, to keep it attached. Now on to tools. First off, you need a lighter, a pair of scissors, pliers for bending the wire and helping you pull the wire, some of the stuff through, and wire. Um, this is 16 gauge galvanized steel wire. Um, probably the most expensive. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I did not get this at the Hutcher. I got at Walmart a long time ago. Um, it's pretty good. It's not too heavy. Um, and it kind of takes being wrapped around pretty good. And it's also flexible afterwards. So you can bend the ears how you want. Um, how much you need is going to depend on how big you want the ears. You need at least two lengths of it. And for what is really be the only special tool, paracord needles. This is the only thing you're probably going to have to get from a legit craft store. Um, you don't actually need these, but they do help with some of the later steps. Um, these are actually designed, they got little threads in here, and you can melt the ends and scroll them in to actually make these like, 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 like a sewing needle, but for paracord. Great to have, but you can get by without using them. And yeah, that's it. So onto the tutorial. Now, make the ears out of the wire. So we get the wire, bend into the kind of shape you want. Put them through, it's simple as Try and get them even on here like this. Oh, 
Now this is more the tricky part. So kind of want to go down like this, up, and then back around like that. And there we are with the bare wire bones of it. Um, this is the most pain in the ass part. I mean, it's all kind of downhill from here. Okay, now that that's done, we got our two pieces of very, very tangled cord. And we are going to need to attach them. Not attaching them is actually really, really easy. Um, we're simply just going to melt the ends together. Now I find it most easiest to basically get them nice together like this, put them together, cut them, and just melt them. I suggest getting them nice until they start to glob in. Before they just very carefully rub them like that. And there you go, you got two pieces together. I wouldn't tug on these. Um, as far as what we're going to be doing for, it should be strong enough. If you're being something like lifting or something like that, nah, I wouldn't trust it. But for something like this, perfectly fine. Now we do the weave. Weaving is actually pretty easy. It's going to be a lot. This is the easiest part. Starting is always hard. Now, we don't want this to be exactly in the middle, so a little bit off like that. Go under, make a loop, and pull it through. up so it looks just like this now this part tip for me you're going to want when you start don't go like this out to the side you see a little bit of wire left or exposed which you want to kind of cross them top of each other just like this now this part it's gonna sound easy to me because I do it all the time but we're gonna do a basic crowbar reeve and the easiest way to really keep track of how to do it is you're gonna have one color cord in front and one in back um, so that's why I suggest if you're doing this use two different colors to start with to get some under your belt now the cover weave I'm going to have the pink in front for this. I'm going to bring top like this. Then I'm going to go under the cord and bring the purple up and through. So I'll have someone similar to this. You just cinch it. Now, since it is on the tip, it's gonna be a little bit finicky at first because it's gonna wanna like right up. And you just kind of keep it a little bit loose, kind of keep cinching it down. And it'll eventually sort of sort of settle. So don't put it too too tight. It'll, it'll take form as it goes. And then now, you can do the next thing. Remember, always keep this color here. So it's, it's a pink, it's gonna be on top. So go over. Then you go under. And 
do it. See? Now it's got about three loops or three sections in it. It's starting to take a little shape. And you just want to continue all the way down. Um, if you do it too tight, it may mint the wire, but simply just loosen it and then pull the wire back out. It's continuing all the way down. Now I'm going to finish this part off screen and I'll show you how to like finish the tips when you get down to here. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, so when you're done, now we're at this point where we need to like cut off the coat. This is actually pretty easy. It's the same as when you melt them together. We're just simply going to snip it off, leave a little bit enough for it to melt. Like that. Just a bit there. I'm just gonna, don't put it in it, just let the heat from the lighter start to melt it. Um, I like to melt it enough so that the cord itself kind of becomes almost like a bulb where there's no more white you can see. When it's nice and gooey, um, let it cool off for like a second and I will usually use the back of the lighter or apply or something like that. Kind of smooth it down a little bit and kind of round it. It kind of makes a kind of a focus sort of cap there. Backside is just as simple. Get nice going and gooey and There you have the sort of ear parts. Now we get to this part. Now it's actually the same type of weave as this, just gonna be around this. So we're actually have I'm gonna reuse this strand because I have this much left over. I'll try to go down. So basically it'll be two extra strands. We'll go down this way, then we'll go back in the middle and go this way. And what these are for Basically, we're going to go underneath this part here. Okay. Now we're ready to do this part. Now, I already went and put the two pieces together. I'm going to use, for this one, about six and a half foot. So, six and a half foot of pink, six foot and a half of purple. Now, if you have the paracord needles, um, then you're going to want to cut this a certain way at kind of an angle. That way you can make it thin enough to thread in. And it's just as easy as, well, cut in an angle. Be careful hot plastic and at first it doesn't go in just melt it again and get a needle on there now to start it We are going to start it right here in the middle. Have it half underneath. Now, this is really important. As you can kind of see, the pattern is pink in the middle and purple on the backside. And the backside it's reversed. Well, that's because it's flat. Now with this one, you need to decide what color you want be on the outside. So for instance, say you want 
this part right this part here is purple you want that to be on the outside with pink in the middle or you want the pink kind of on the outside with purple in the middle now for this i'm going to do pink on the inside and the purple on the outside so that means that you're going to want the pink to essentially be the middle one so the one that always goes on top is going to be pink and it's the exact same like processes with like the ear parts and go over leave a loop then go over and under and back to the side and then you simply just The sort of seam where they were originally like attached to it, it get a little finicky at times. Also, make sure to go over the exposed wires. This will also help keep the wires down or keep the ears flat. And it's one loop. Trying to keep it as tight as possible. Put it over the top. Purple behind. Every once in a while, I kind of squeeze it back up to keep it kind of tight. And almost right up to the ears. We are. We're finally at the ears. Now, I gotta go with the ears. So, essentially, what we're gonna use is the paracord needles. They only need one for this, and I actually cut the wrong one during the example. Since I'm gonna have the pink on top, I'm gonna make sure the pink is the one fitted for the paracord needle. Oh, come on. My well, lighter's starting to die. Now, it's still the exact same process. The only thing is, now we're going to go underneath and through the ear. Go over the top rung. Exact same process. And it's just as simple as that. You just continue, kind of go through, and then when you get to the end, you just simply stop going through it and then go all the way down to the end. Where you get to the end here, you, you know, same way of cutting them and what you call it, um, melting them down. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, finish this side and then finish this side and show me, show you guys what to do right here at the end. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, I already went down one side, repeated the process on the side, and now we are here at the end, and it is just the same as up here. We're going to cut it, melt it down. The lighter died. The pro tip when doing this, don't do this with a fan on. It blows the... Um, like flame around too much and it makes repeat it on this side. And well that's it. It is as simple as that. Um, the hardest part, I guess, would be really the wires. 
And once you get the technique, it is just the same technique. Um, it's called a cobra weave. If you're having my tutorial, I've never made a tutorial like this before, so if a little confusing, you need to look up like a better how to do it. It's a cobra weave, but just a cobra weave over the ears and then cobra weave, cobra weed. Um, I would suggest getting more cord than you think you're gonna need in case you need more. But that is it guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you guys think maybe I should make more tutorials, maybe a full cat set. I've been kind of wanting to make a tail, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I will catch you guys later in the next one. Bye everyone.